canning time. Yes, it is. So we're gonna do canned cream of celery first and see how it goes. <laughs> I have never canned cream of celery too. So we're gonna give it a go. And then I'm gonna use the, so it takes some of the celery leaves, but not a lot of them. Then the celery leaves I'm going to use in a stock. I have stock like bones to put in and different vegetables and stuff that I can use. So we're going to just dump everything in that then and then let that simmer and then we'll can that at a later time. Okay, so I was boiling these jars while I was chopping celery. So we're going to take these out and just set them on this cloth so that those are nice and sterilized. I'm going to put my little thing, my jigger. If you have an island in your kitchen, be very thankful. It makes this stuff a lot easier. Okay. Very carefully take your jars out and let them cool down. You always want to make sure and sterilize your jars before you can anything in them. I'm not sure how much this is going to make. I'm going to do two batches. Yeah. So it says for three cups of diced celery. So I have six cups here. So we're just going to double everything. And I'm going to saute the onions and celery in butter until they're slightly tender but crisp. And then I'm going to add the broth, celery leaves, and seasonings. Then it needs to be in a big enough bowl or pot that it can boil before we're going to put it into the jars. So we're going to do that and then go from there. Okay, so now I'm sauteing onion and celery pieces until they are a little bit tender but still crispy. So we're going to let that melt. Okay, so we're going to do 
one cup of these onions, since I'm doubling the recipe. So this recipe calls for vegetable stock, but our broth, I don't have that. So I'm just gonna use two things of chicken stock. Hopefully that's okay. So now it's kind of at a stage where the celery has started to like tenderize just a little bit, but it's still crispy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the next steps, which is add the broth, lemon juice, celery leaves, and the rest of the seasoning. You want to keep one cup of broth for the clear gel, and then the rest of this is going in here. That was not smart. Just made a mess. I was going to mop today and then I remembered I wanted to do this and I was like, mm, yeah, mm -hmm. I know you, Karen. How about we mop after you're done making a giant mess in the kitchen, then we'll mop. So that is in there. I don't have white pepper, so I'm using black pepper. It is what it is. <laughs> Celery seed. <laughs> so that is oh nope I forgot these leaves gotta go in there too It smells really good. I'm not sure if I did everything right, but. <laughs>
Okay, I'm done. And so now I have it in the pressure canner and it's gonna sit in there when this starts to wobble on the top for 45 minutes and then we are going to eat this for dinner. I think I can find this recipe. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna try it. I am gonna taste it before I say that. I will taste it and see what I think about it. Probably should have tasted it before I put it in the uh, jars. <laughs> That's all right. It smells really good. I don't know. Well, not too bad. I think I would add more onions in the next batch, which I have a bunch of celery, so I'm probably going to do another batch like that. Um, I think I would add more onions and a little bit more garlic. But other than that, it tastes really good. And the consistency is like what, what I like it to be at. I don't like it too thick. I don't like it runny either. But um, we're going to let this sit. Once it's done, you put the jars out, um, give them some space in between each other, and let them cool. And that's it. And then wait for the pop. So this stuff I'm going to save, and then I will put this into my stock that I want to do and make. Now I'm going to clean up my mess. We're going to eat some dinner, and we're going to call it a night. We will see you guys next time, and I'll also link the video where we harvested the celery, um, either up below or down below, whatever. And if you have any questions, let me know. I have canned quite a few things, but this is something that is completely new for me. It went really well. I would recommend, though, prepping all of your stuff, getting it all cut up in you know bowls and measured out before you start it just makes it a lot less messy to clean up afterward but other than that it was it was fun so we'll see how it goes can you say bye bye honey eh? oh viviana wants the camera okay so we'll see you guys next time bye uh, don't want us to do see honey bear i am with you yeah i am